So you click on this video because you're interested in making a thousand dollars per month in dividends. So let's get right into it. I'm not gonna waste your time. A thousand dollars per month in dividends is a very significant milestone on your way to financial independence. Like I said in the video last week, about $100 a month. It's very significant. $1,000 per month is even, is even more so because this is an amount of money on a re recurring basis earned passively that can actually pay significant bills. I mean, we're talking about um, you can pay your insurance bill, uh, you can pay utilities, you can pay your car note, you can pay your rent, mortgage, or significant portion of it, right? We're talking about $12,000 a year, passively. So it's definitely a significant achievement on your way to uh, financial independence. Um, we'll get into the math um, in a minute, but like a lot of things in uh, personal finance, the math and the numbers is actually the secondary thing. The mindset, the motivation, the drive, the willing to self-sacrifice, the delayed, delayed gratification is actually more important because as we get into the, the math, you can see it's you know, very simple, but like I said, it's a significant portion because for some people, it will take years to achieve this. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to take some people many years in order to achieve a thousand dollars a month. It really depends on how much money are you putting into it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be transparent, I'm gonna be upfront, okay? Um, so just to prepare yourself. Yeah, so we are all individuals, right? Different circumstances, um, different um, place, uh, different stages, um, different willingness to sacrifice, different starting points, right? Let's be honest, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, but like the, the bottom line is, it's the mental aspect, which is the most important, I think, right? Um, they ran the, the personal finance is 80% behavior and only 20% head knowledge. I agree 100%. Are you willing to um, delay or, or um, uh, be uncomfortable now so you can live a beautiful tomorrow. So people are not willing to do that. Are you willing to be humble and say, no, I'm not going to take the uh, month of vacation and cars and all this stuff um, now so you can have what you want going forward? Some people are, some people are not willing to. So I just had to say that, okay? It is lifestyle. It is behavior, it is mindset, much more. Now, um, you'll see that it's gonna vary how much you'll need to invest, um, depending on the interest rate, or the dividend yield, the dividend yield that the investment is returning, right? Which makes sense, right? And it's gonna be inversely proportional. So, the dividend yield is low, you're gonna need to invest more money. Dividend yield is higher, you have to invest less money. And we're making the assumption that you're putting all your money into one stock, single stock. In reality, most people have a portfolio and you have some high yields, some low, some medium yield. So, imagine, we're gonna first start off with a low yield. So imagine we have our money into uh, something like Lowe's. Everybody knows Lowe's? Lowe's is the home improvement retail company. They compete with Home Depot, right? Lowe's company. Lowe's pays a dividend. Lowe's has a dividend yield. Let's try to find it here. We see the ticker symbol LOW is trading about $180. We're on the, we're on the Seeking Alpha website. Try to mention that. So Lowe's has a low dividend yield. I didn't even try to make that joke. 
it just came up. So low has a very low dividend yield. See, it's 2.31%. So it's not that high, right? It pays it quarterly. And, and these are the dates we talked about. We're not going to go into it again, but we talked about it. A um, dollar and five cents. But we're going to focus on the dividend yield, 2.31%. With this amount of dividend yield, to find out how much money you have to invest in, in, in loads to get, earn a thousand dollars a month, just remember, you convert the monthly with the thousand dollars a month into an annual annual amount, right? So, a thousand dollars a month would be twelve thousand dollars a year. You take twelve thousand dollars per year and you divide it by the dividend yield of two point three one percent. You're gonna move this over two places. So it's going to be 0 0.0231. So 12000 which is your annual amount you get if you get $1,000 a month, divided by 0 0.0231. And you'll come up with an amount of $519,480. So over half a million dollars invested in Lowe's. So you will need over half a million dollars invested in Lowe's to earn $1,000 a month. I told you it depends because the yield is so low. Well, that's a lot of money. Half a million dollars. And let me add this. The assumption here is that uh, you're putting everything one time lump sum. But in reality, most people are not going to have $500,000 one time, right? It's going to be most likely at, at a certain amount every every month, every month. They're investing every month, every month. They're getting um, dividends paid, and they'll probably reinvest that. And also there'll be some dividend increases annually. So it'll be a little less than that. But in general, it's gonna be a lot of money. And it may take you many years. You invest in something like this, okay? Just to be transparent. Now let's look at another company that is not such a low yield, something a little higher yield. Let's um, look at something a little higher yield. Let's look at uh, Verizon. Verizon, the uh, telecommunic telecommunication company. Ticker symbol VZ. It's a uh, yield is much higher. So low was very low yield, 2.31%. Verizon, uh, you see here, is trading. Ticker symbol VZ is trading at fifty dollars and fifty cents, right? Fifty fifty. Um, let's look at the yield. It says here the yield is 5.07%. So it's a pretty, pretty uh, high yield, right? Over 5% dividend, which is great. So, again, the math is simple. You're going to have to um, divide 12,000 divided by 0 0.0507, right? You move the two plates to the left. 0 0.0507, and you come up, come up with the number 236,000. Six hundred eighty-six dollars, right? Still a lot of money, over two hundred thousand dollars. But if you look at it, it is less than half of what you need with lows, right? Or over five hundred, over five hundred thousand dollars, less than half. And the reason why that is is because the yield is more than double that of lows, right? So you do more than double the yield, then you will cut the amount you'll need to invest by half. The ratio. That's why yield is important. Okay, so $236,000 invested in Verizon at a 5% yield, you're getting $1,000 a month. Okay, um, and now let's look at a high yield one. Let's look at a high yield one. I mean, that's high, but something higher, even a higher yield. Let's look at E P D. Enterprise Products Partners, ticket symbol EPD. It's a um, 
NAFTA limited partnership, basically involving the transportation of like oil, natural gas. Take a simple EPD, trading about $25 this year. The yield is 7.61%. So you see a much higher yield, 7.61%. Again, you're going to take the $12,000 annually, right? $12,000 a month. You divide that by the 0 0.0761, and you're going to come up with an amount $157,687.25. Again, the money amount needed to invest is less. So three um, stocks we showed. Lowe's, which is very low yield, 2.3%, 2.31%. You need over half a million dollars to invest to get a thousand dollars a month. So Verizon, take a symbol VZ, 5.07%. You need $236,000 to invest much less than a half a million dollars below, right? Because the yield is more than double. EPD, we'll take a simple EPD, with a 7.61% yield, you only need $157,000 to invest. So here's the difference. Um, we, don't go chain, we don't go chasing yield because we have to look at the um, fundamentals of a company. And maybe I'll do a video on the fundamentals, kind of, Stuff to look at when you look at evaluating stocks for, uh, for um, dividends to make sure it's uh, strong, make sure it's consistent, make sure it's growing, make sure it's not at risk of being cut. Maybe that'll be a video I'll do, do as well. So, um, just a quick video, guys, to let you know that get it earning a thousand dollars one is a very worthwhile goal. Um, it's a um, absolute excellent. Um, milestone on your path to financial independence but it may take you um, it may take each of us um, a different amount of time you want to um, be focused you want to uh, think about the future um, you want to be willing to self-sacrifice um, and along the way there'll be other milestones right? there'll be fifty dollars a month twenty five dollars a month a hundred dollars a month two hundred dollars a month but Knowing that a thousand dollars per month is not something that you're looking for, too, you'll be you'll be much more willing to um, make the sacrifice. Guys, if there's people that you think could benefit, let them know about the MD Investor on YouTube is MD Investor, and I will see you on the next one. Until next time, continue to command your money to grow. MD Investor out.